And I love the theme of this next segment, Zero Waste Cocktails, which of course has Julia Grieve written all over it. Hey Jules, you are stirring, you're shaking, you're mixing it up today, all in that special way that only you do. What are you serving up for us? All right, Tracy, we are in that final countdown to the holidays and we are talking cocktails and we're talking zero waste cocktails. Now, you know me, I'm always talking about food waste. This is a big issue and it's one of those issues that we can all do our little part to help out. So using up what we already have. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna show you how we can take your leftover turkey, we're gonna mix it with your leftover potatoes, we're gonna add tequila, then we're gonna, no, I'm just joking, we're not gonna go quite that far. <laughs> But what I am going to show you is how to make trash cocktails, is what it's called. Okay, you had me worried there for a little bit. Uh, let's put the turkey aside. We'll eat that, but we will make the trash cocktails. I'm back on board now. Okay, so the trash cocktails, really, this was all sort of started. There's been this wonderful movement within the international bar and restaurant scene to really use up what is there, right? All those lemons and all those limes, all that waste. So it was actually spearheaded by two different bartenders, one being Canadian, of course, and they created what was called what is called Trash Telly. It was originally called Trash Tiki, but it's an online platform where it just encourages us to use what we already have and have fun with it and make cocktails. So the first thing I'm gonna show you Tracy is alcohol infusion so the whole trick with zero waste is just using up what you already have so you know using up some of those cucumbers your spices your fruits before you put them into the compost is there something else we can do yes we can put it into booze so <laughs> what you want to do is this is a great one with gin we've got cucumber and rosemary put it into a mason jar add some gin on top another one I love is strawberries just when they look like they're gonna go no no don't toss them put them and vodka so you throw in some vodka some mint wonderful this one's my favorite a little bit of leftover pineapple into some rum so you literally let those sit for about seven days you will strain it afterwards and now you've got your alcohol to make your drinks so Tracy quick thing I want to show you is how you can use up all of these leftover limes and lemons and oranges this is inspired by trash telly this is a off cut of all your citrus, I'm gonna make a cordial. So you literally save up about two cups of all these old lemons and limes and oranges, put them into a bowl. You're gonna mix equal parts with water and you're gonna put that in top. About a cup and a half of sugar. I use a little bit less because I don't like it too sweet. And you'll put that in as well. And then you'll just need about a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. We'll put that in here. There's a quarter, there we go. And then all you do really is mix that up. You're gonna leave it in the fridge for about 24 hours. And honestly, Trace, when it is done, it will be like this. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it becomes really syrupy. So you've got that nice syrup that's literally made from all that leftover fruit. Then what you'll do is you'll just strain it. That is such a great idea. And you can basically use any of those cast offs. Like I like that you stuck with citrus. Is there anything that you wouldn't use for fruit? No, actually I wouldn't. Like if you've got watermelon rinds or really amazing, any grapefruit, anything like that. Like even like the best is your oranges. Your kids eat the oranges, save that peel and then turn it into that syrup. So you've got it for cocktails. Okay, I'm gonna make my first cocktail. You ready for this one? This is what I like to call Julia's famous gin trash smash. <laughs> so <laughs> what you're gonna need is a shot and a half of that infused gin. So this is a cucumber rosemary infused gin, shot and a half, not two shots, Jules. There we go. And then we're going to add a shot of that citrus cordial, which is like a nice syrup, putting that in. And then we're just going to top it off with a little bit of soda water to get that fizz. And then we'll add a cucumber in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Take a little sip. Let's see oh, how this tastes. So good. Really refreshing. So good. That, that rosemary comes through in that gin. It tastes amazing. Okay. Next one, Tracy, you ready for this one? I'm we ready. are talking avocado pits. I bet you thought they were just garbage. Oh, no, no, they're not. I'm going to show you how you quickly can make an orgeant. Now, I hope I said that right, but an orgeant uh, um, syrup is what you use in all those tiki drinks, right? It's typically made out of almonds. Okay, so easy. You're going to take your avocado pits. Now, you're going to take two or three of them, dry them off, and then you're just going to pop them into the blender. They blend up way easier than you think. They just zip, 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 and they'll crush almost like nuts. Then you're going to saute them. 
and then they'll turn this beautiful orange. That's when you know that they've been toasted. Take those orange little, you know, nuts, put them in, mix it with equal parts water, equal parts sugar, let it sit overnight, then blend the entire syrup and you will have this beautiful syrup that Oh my gosh, it totally smells like almonds and it's really sweet. So we are going to make my famous trash Mai Tai martini. Okay, so here's what you need, Trace. We're gonna take a shot and a half of my uh, pineapple infused rum. Yum, yum, yum. And we're going to mix in one shot of the Orgeant syrup, which is nice and sweet. Gives that beautiful color. Mix that in. Now, if you want it sweeter, you could add a bit more of that cordial, but but I don't need it that sweet. We're gonna mix it up over ice here, serve it in a martini glass. Oh, look at that color, Tracy, can you see it? Mm -hmm. It's like orange, so beautiful with a little pineapple. So my last one I want to show you is what I like to call the zero wasted eggnog. Now, obviously people want to create drinks that are better for the planet. I know I always say this, a good cocktail should not cost the earth, but maybe using up all of your food waste might be a little too much for some people. So what I'm gonna show you quickly is how to just do a wonderful gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, alcohol-free, eggnog. Now alcohol spirits are all over the place this year, which is so great. This one's one of my favorite. It's a rum, it's the Fleury, it's so good. Oh my gosh, it is alcohol free, smells like rum, tastes like rum, super great. I got that at well.ca. So what you're gonna need though, here we go Trace, we are going to mix a shot of your alcohol free rum. Now here's a tip though, just because it's alcohol free doesn't necessarily mean it's cheaper. Just saying. Mm. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> it's so good. So you're going to mix that into there. We're going to add a little bit of that dairy-free eggnog. So again, we got a plant-based eggnog. We'll mix it into the shaker here. And I'm gonna put a little fresh cinnamon in. And what I do first, Trace, is I don't have any ice. We're just doing a dry shake, dry shake, dry shake. Then you'll add the ice to it and give it a really good shake at that point. And then we'll just pour it into our glass here. Oh, look at that, so good with the cinnamon coming through. Add a cinnamon stick and you are off to the races. There you go, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based and alcohol-free, yum. Well, you can enjoy that one. There's no alcohol in there. That's amazing. Right? I'm just going to sit here and sip this one for the rest of the day. <laughs> you do that? You've amazed me once again, as you always do. No doubt you will have us all rummaging through our kitchen scraps to make a trendy new cocktail. I love it. Thank you. And cheers to a zero-waste holiday. Let's see if we can do it.